Of the 109 new cases reported yesterday in the state, none are on the Big Island, and there are currently just three active cases. Joining us this morning is Hawaii County Mayor Harry Kim. Good morning, Mayor. How are you doing this morning? Good morning to you. All right, first off, oh, go ahead. Pardon? I was going to say I feel real good and not to uh, nitpick, but it is important here that we have just one active case, and I feel very, very fortunate on that. Okay. I know every county is different and faces different challenges, but what do you think is the biggest reason why Hawaii Island has been able to keep their cases so low? You know, and then first of all, we talk to staff here that we have to be very careful that we don't get caught up in this yo-yo of emotions, and it's so easy, you know, uh, the numbers game and people affected here and what you do or don't do become very personal. I think everyone in this office and uh, work with this daily, know what I'm talking about, and uh, you get down when it's up and up when it's down, and you have to be very careful of that. Uh, on that, uh, I'm not smart enough to even remotely know all the reasons that make for cases to go up and down, them. but, you know, I know it's fortunate that we are where we are. Uh, the Mayor Caldwell and the rest of the mayors, we talk to each other almost daily and at least three times a week. And I know they feel the same about uh, so emotionally involved in this thing. As far as your question, why? For all the good reasons of people, for all good fortunes that we don't understand that come together. Uh, but I do know this, uh, people want, I uh, see the media because the reaction to how we can get better. Or, uh, this is a huge number, 109. Uh, the reason for that is you know, maybe better than me, uh, in regards to not uh, too long ago, we went, whoa, when we went to 42 at the time was the highest. And in a very short couple of weeks, we're 109. So you can see the, the reasons for this interview and the questions. But in summary of your question, it's a complex thing, but the bottom line, it is the willingness and cooperation of the people of your community to you know get involved and do their share now mayor some county mayors like mayor victorino on maui are very concerned about the inner island travel and want to reinstate the 14-day quarantine but you are not in favor of that can you explain why you feel so strongly about that well first of all you know we watch the data every day just like mayor victorino and at this time, uh, you know, it put the relationship of the acceptable risk, you put the relationship in regards to the good and the bad in regards to what it does. And when it was re removed as far as the quarantine for Big Island and the rest of the state, boy, I saw an elation that uh, I didn't realize would be that much. Now, if I saw a direct connection here, Again, if I saw a direct connection on this island. I must say the others do not. I just don't see, but we do monitor it. I don't see a connection here of that. And because of that, I said to the mayor, you know, I understand what he's uh, supporting and pushing, but at this time, the island of Hawaii, I felt there was no real connection to any increase here. Now, Governor Ige wants to impose stricter rules regarding gatherings of 10 or less people, closing of bars again. Can you explain your position on that and the fairness aspect that you spoke about on your Facebook Live yesterday? Well, thank you for that question because, you know, that is, I think, important in the overall policy. I think I'm lucky here. Uh, maybe luck is not the right word. I'm just so fortunate with the, the agencies and the people headed here, including Department of Health, the hospitals, or the police department, especially fire, National Guard community here. In, in regards to that, and we turned from the very, very beginning in uh, late February, early March, you know, task force was developed to work with the community. And I, I think we're lucky because of our size and the rural community and the uh, fire department who is head of the prevention, I think have mapped so far with, uh, I'll use round number seven, 800 establishments just to check with them and work with them. The goal here is to work with everyone to make us better and I'll be part of the a whole team in prevention. And I think that is uh, 
working force to some degree. And I like to keep that up in regards to, I said it yesterday, I see no reason uh, or fairness in, at all in regards to let's take a bar because that seems to be an easy thing to identify. You know, our fire department, our liquor department uh, works together, Department of Health, to work with the bars and restaurants, businesses, and go and talk to them to see how they can get better. And uh, if they cooperate, you know, things uh, really works out. If they don't, then they will be penalized. But it will be that individual establishment uh, that will be penalized, not the whole at the, uh, business. And real quickly, Mayor Kim, what's your final message to the people of Hawaii Island, having them continue to follow the rules? Because some people may be experiencing caution fatigue or burnout. You know, that, that's a real thing that we should openly discuss. And I, I do mean openly discuss about us and individuals. It's been a long haul. Uh, four or five months now, change of lifestyle, and the change of lifestyle of not just what you eat, uh, for example, maybe, but the whole lifestyle of uh, the culture of Hawaii, of togetherness, of physicalness, and those things. And, you know, that's, that's tough. Uh, that affects funerals, weddings, parties, uh, any get-together. And I know how tough that is, and I know people are getting tired. But I think from the beginning, all the experts have told us, look, this is going to be a long haul. This is going to be something we're learning as we go. Uh, the mission is to minimize harm to our community. And this is what I need people to really understand. This is going to be a long haul. It's not going to be easy. It's going to affect your lifestyle. And from the beginning, we wrote the law. Uh, you will see here, this is a community issue. And this is going to take a community effort to address it. And uh, we are really trying to emphasize that on this community. And hopefully we, the community understands that this is going to continue. All right, there you have it. Hawaii County Mayor Harry King, we appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Hawaii Island currently has one active case. Uh, thank you and keep smiling. <laughs> <laughs> All right.